Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So, we are on uh, the same planet still. I was thinking about jumping, but I decided not to because we had that one and a half skull base defense mission that I wanted to take, but uh, Rogue Tech has updated. Now, generally those missions don't disappear, but apparently this one did. There is a one skull, but I remember specifically the last time we were on, it was a one and a, it was a one and a half. Am I mistaken? Did we take that one already? I don't think so. Anyway, we got a one skull mission here, base defense, we're going to take today. Uh, we're going to go full salvage. I'm hoping that we get a half decent mech out of this, but we'll see. We're going to go the same way. Uh, now, there's still no hiring hall here, so uh, apparently there was a, a bug in the last update that deactivated some hiring halls on some planets, like this one. Um, so there's no hiring hall here, but that's fine. So we're going to go with five today and see how we do. Command interface initiated. All right, well, here we go. Vassal Hags. Intel was right, eh? Crit coming up on this side of the base this time. Okay. Yeah, we know we got our additional support. Blah, 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 blah. So they're coming this way this time, it looks like. We can't deploy over here. So, um, yeah, we're pretty clear everywhere else. So... Do we want to go... Hmm. Do we go through the base or... We go, let's go around the base here. So we're going to single drop this again. Hey. There we go. You. 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 And let's put the Cloud Buster over here. Sure. See how we do here. Okay, we got some vehicles. What a glorious spot for mech combat. Let's hope it's only two. Nice foliage. I bet it smells great out there. I bet hey, you it does. After we finish, swimming Let's anyone? not find out by bailing out, eh? I hear you. What can I do for you? All right, Griff, let's get up here. Looks like it is only two, but we'll find out soon enough. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Any more sensors on? No, that could be one of two things. Either it's a galleon. Two galleons. Oh, shit. That's not good. That's the, uh... Yeah, we gotta go after this guy now. The sensor's on this guy. Special delivery. Nothing. Except for sensors. Sensors online. Ready for orders. Let's get over here so we're not shooting our own guy in the back. Understood. Take a Move pot shot at the same galleon. I don't think we're going to kill it unless we get real lucky. I don't know who is, is going to shoot at one of us. Yeah, we got to fire it all. Oh, we hit with one of the uh, ACs. Hopefully he'll shoot for the Talos then. Hopefully he'll shoot for the Talos then. Okay, that's their first galleon. I think the rest of us go after that guy, don't we? No, nope. yep. Sturm goes before. You know what? We're gonna reserve you. I could move up and take the pot shot, but the problem is, is that um, Roger that. Standing by. If we move up and take a pot shot, we could hit our own guy in the back. Whoop, right between my legs. Did you see that? Hello. Here. We're not that close. We just met, for crying out loud. I'll try. Alright, take a couple pot shots at this guy. Uh, nope, standard ammo. Ah, 12%. Object. Firing everything. Ah, it looks like it came close, but whatever. Missed. Figures. Yeah, don't be that disappointed. Okay, taser face going on 8. Hopefully she can finish it up. We got the big guns last here. Here it comes. Oh, she's in the Cloud Buster. Interesting. Alright, a little bit of damage. That's the end of that guy. He's out for the battle now. Oh, there are more back there. Nice. Probably a hunter or something. 
Um, let's get up here. Roll to that. You got the speed. Use it. Look at this thing. <laughs> Uh, it's such a wacky looking mech. So this is the one with the medium laser. Um. What do you got left? Machine guns it looks like. Uh, let's shoot at this guy then. Locking on. Alright, we got one hit on him. Commander. Still a bad position to be like shooting from ah uh, maybe it's not too bad on the move full speed maybe it's not too bad I mean sure don't hit our own guy please Roger. Ooh, Narc's on, though. Nice. That'll help out. Alright, next turn. What do we got? We're slow. Because of all the forced reserves. Yeah, you run. You run away. What do we got back here? Hunter, yeah. Aye, aye. Well, we know who's got to go after that. Copy that. We know who has to go after that one. Um, that's a pretty good chance. And that's a pretty good chance. Do we go after the farther one, probably? We got longer range weapons, so why not? Gage. Alright, one hit. Yeah, we gotta get some specialty ammo. Commander. You, um... I really want you on that hunter, but... Let's get up here, like this. Roll to that. Now that guy's finished using his rockets, we can kind of take a shot at this guy here. Maybe finish this guy off. We use the rocket pack, go for a kill. Ah, uh, no, we shouldn't, because we got a lot of damage in the front already. So. Firing. But you know, we're shooting from the front, so why would we hit the front? Apparently, we can't do that, right? It's like, how many times? How many times? <laughs> Oh, uh, we did hit the front with one. And the side and the top with more. Ah, uh, sure. Sure! Maybe he was hull down. I'm gonna chalk it up to him being hull down. Yeah, you you run, buddy. You run. It's not gonna save you. Where's an artillery piece when we, we need it? Alright, Griff, you move up. Um, let's get you down here. I know we're Going getting a, a little far away from the base, but I'm going to keep the Talos and the Hunchback back. We're not going to move up with those guys. So that's the guy that just moved, so this is the guy we want to target. He's taking damage on this side, so hopefully we can finish him off. I'm going to save the sensors for later. Roger oh, the laser hit the other guy. Come on, bail out. Yeah. Critical hit. yeah. Heavy wheeled APC. With some machine guns. Good thing he's on our side. It's terrifying. Uh, let's get up on top of this hill. Because I got a feeling we're going to have guys spawning okay, behind us next turn. Go. Or the turn after that, I guess. 70. Let's go with the 70. Okay. Alright, one of the two. We'll take it. Yeah. Since we have no choice. Move up here. Got it. Heavy rifle should be able to fire, I think, and the narc. And the medium. Nice. Let's hope we get this guy. I copy. Okay, I think the rifle hit the other guy. Nice. Turrets for the win. At least we got some half decent turrets here. What the hell? Standing by. Alright, Bubba. Let's just take a pot shot at this guy. I gotta leave this off so we drop our recoil so when the reinforcements come we have a better chance to kill them. 
Yes. Target eliminated. I hear you. Can you get a line of sight on that guy? You cannot. So let's just move back here. Hmm. Let's stay in the trees. Moving out. I have a feeling there's going to be reinforcements here too. So, just take a pot shot at this guy. Let him know that we know he's there. Yes, Commander. All right. Um, let's get a side shot in the center. Okay. This guy should be able to kill the hunter relatively. Let's, how much armor does it have? A ah, fair bit, eh? Let's use the rocket pack on this one. Firing a full salvo. Okay. No SRMs remaining. Hopefully we should be able to get him next turn. Don't go too far that way. He's running. Alright, we did a good chunk of damage to the side, but we hit the the front the, pretty much the same amount. Hey. Which isn't surprising. Wait, where was the- there it is. There it is! Advancing, I guess. There it is! Firing! Nice. Yes, Commander. Gonna move back this way a bit. Gonna drop our recoil. Nice. Okay, he's almost done. I've got eyes on hostile yep. reinforcements. They're heading your way. Coming down behind us. Mongoose. Meh. Well, I mean, it is one skull, right? So. Vulcan. Okay. Oh, we got guys down here too. Uh, what do we got? Phoenix. Commando. <sighs> really? Locust. Well, I mean, it's one skull. What can I say? It's going to be what it's going to be. Uh, let's get up on the hill here. Gives us some options. Copy that. It'll give us some options. Who do we want to target? One of the guys that moved, probably. Vulcan? Oh, 15 on the mongoose, though. Alright, firing on this guy. Alright, couple hits. Take it. I like we have a choice. Alright, that's gonna be flames. Can we shoot from here? We can't. Let's just go right here, then. It sounds like that guy... Is like has a vehicle sound, but I know it's not. All we need is one shot in the back. What's got the most heat? Let's just go with the medium lasers. Ah, uh, this was a better chance to hit, though. Let's go. Well, let's go this route. Copy that. There we go. Nope. Apparently not. Saw the orange letters. Why would we hit the back when we're shooting at him from behind? Honestly, like we got the other side because of course we did and now we're in friggin range of this artillery piece What can I do for you? Uh, it's so painful. Okay, um Ah, uh, same thing. Let's get up here We got lucky we did they're not really splitting our defenses here Okay, drop some rounds on this guy again Yeah, put him in fire. Okay, the hunter went through chemical fire, but didn't... Did it take any back damage? It did, took four points. So, it's pretty much done. I don't need to stay there anymore, regardless if I shoot at it or not. We can still shoot at it, though. Because we can't shoot at anybody else. Let's move this way. Throw the link up for what it's worth. And we will take a shot at that guy. I'm glad this... I mean, the Cloudbuster should be turreted because it's an AA vehicle. 
But I'm glad we can shoot at pretty much everywhere. Wow, really? Okay. <laughs> we hit, but okay. I was hoping we would find at least one interesting mech here that we could kind of like do something with, but apparently not. What was that? Panther. All right. I don't mind the Panther. It's a little slow, but it's kind of like my playstyle, right? It's got the SRM and the PPC, and what do you need? It's a little slow, like me. <laughs> All right, let's get up here and take a shot at this guy. Uh, um, let's go this route. Why not? Target for now. Well, at least he's detected. We can put freaking bring the paint on him. Had to use a full round on that guy, did you? Hell yeah. You just couldn't. Okay, sure. Commander. That's the. We need to make sure he's dead. Um. Yeah, if we go that way, we're gonna get trapped in the valley. Let's go up this way. On my way. Double time. At least we'll drop our heat. It's always a good thing. I don't know if you'll even be able to shoot next round, though. I mean, you probably get up into... Yeah, probably not even be able to shoot unless these guys get closer. Good to go. All right. Well, we got a direct line of sight in this, this guy down here, so let's take it. Received. Let's take it. Let's go with some damage. How many of those did you hit? Targets taken One. a critical hit. Need a better AMS. That, la that laser AMS though that last time was like really rocking on our missiles. Okay. I'm taking internal damage. How are you? Oh, does he got tandem ammo? Wait, what, did, what has he got? Wow, okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Does the OP is the OP is that Omni version? Can't be the it can't be an Omni version, can it? That's garbage. It's not too bad, I guess. Let's get up over here. Metal to the metal. Ah, man, we need like those optics. We need the optic systems. Put the sensors on for down here. And sensors. Ooh, uh, nice spread in the sensors. I'm here. Couldn't get them a little. Uh, a little less packed than that, eh? 70% in the commando. God, this Cloudbuster is like really uh, hardcore. So he had bolt on tandem rockets, that's why they pinned. That'd be a nice item to have. Um, you got one energy weapon, which is probably a large laser, right? Let's go for the kill and get rid of this guy's AMS yeah. if we can. Come on, bail out. The artillery will probably shoot at him this turn. We can only hope. Then I can kill him and I don't have to shoot at him again. Well, Vulcan's what, 40 tons? Phoenix is 50 or... F yeah, 50 tons, I think. But it's like an... It's one of those old mechs again. Really garbage. Yes, Commander. It's a garbage mech. Ah, uh, let's get out in the open. Acknowledged. Less, less uh, reduction in chance to hit. Let's go for the kill. Man, how many times do you need to shoot at a locust to kill it for crying out loud? <sighs> Here
Here comes the arty. Oh, no. Is this thing... I wonder if it's stuck in direct fire mode. Yes, Commander. I wonder if it's stuck in direct fire mode. On the move. Full speed. We had that happen before where, we, where we've had thumper turrets and they just stop shooting when they, they have to go indirect. I wonder if it gets stuck in a certain mode and then just stops firing. Those guys are just hiding back there. They're just hiding. Christ, our vehicles are doing more damage to our base than than uh, the enemy is. Waiting for orders. Um. Okay. Well, you don't want to move up. Ah, I gotta shoot between both of our guys here. Have some faith. Faith is the excuse people give when they don't have a good reason to believe in something. Paravessor M2 is in a PPC. Let's fire it. Right. Didn't have a good reason to believe we would hey. actually hit that guy, but I'm fired anyway. 70%. 75 on the Panther. That's probably a kill on the Locust, but do I really care? Okay, since we're really... In, oh, this guy's in the only... Uh, position to fire at this guy, so we will. All right, we got one hit. Looks like we penned. I think that was a leg hit. Find out here in a second. Nope, CT hit. Beautiful. Even better. What can I do for you? Even better. Okay, let's move up here. Coordinates received. Keep our side to the other guys if we can. Well, not too bad. I think we need to keep focusing on this guy now. can't complain about the laser missing at this point because it's like it had a low percentage chance to hit so it is what it is all right yeah yeah what can i do you for Ooh, do we want to see if we can kill the uh commando that's what the locust phoenix Go for a kill on this guy. Really? There you go. Nice. Now that now our turrets can focus on somebody else. Okay, sensors on this guy. At least he missed it with the PPC. Get him to bail out. Ooh, or just kill him. That works too. Freaking cord him, baby, with a medium laser. That's embarrassing. But kill is a kill. Kill is a kill is a kill is a kill. Alright, they're down to nothing pretty much. Uh, let's come around this way. I copy. Might be easier to get down there from over here. Let's work on this Vulcan now. Uh, yep. Ooh, head hit, beautiful. I hear ya. Still way too many head hits in this game, I, I find. Uh, let's work on the Vulcan with this guy. You uh, there was a time when you almost never got hit in the head, and then they changed a bunch of the rules, and now it's like, it's really, I'm finding it a little too frequent. Uh, we'll go with the sensors you as well. A little too frequent for my liking. I think maybe half the number of head hits, especially with all the injuries you can possibly get now. Like, I know it makes it way more dangerous for pilots and gives them a really good chance to be... Well, not really good, but a sufficient amount of a chance to be killed. Holy so you got to be very careful when you're fighting, but still, it's like... I don't know. I'm just complaining for the sake of complaining, probably. <laughs> Alright, let's go after this guy. Uh, we'll fire it all. 
Alright, a couple hits. Not bad. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. At least they've got targets to shoot for. Okay, who's left? Just the Phoenix over here, Cloudbuster, and the Hunchback should be able to handle him. Actually, the Hunchback should just be able to handle that guy. Should be a good fight. But... I'm here. We're keeping you here as well. Okay, 57. Can we get a clear line of sight, like right there? It's still 57, but I'd rather there. go for the clear line of okay. sight. Excellent. That way, we, maybe we can get our flank on next turn. Excellent, one hit. Beautiful. As long as one of those ACs hits every turn, I'm happy. Unless, of course, it's a 99.9% .9 chance to hit and we only hit with one. Which, knowing me, is very probable. Probabilities mean nothing to the universe when, it's, when you're talking about me. Um... Let's rotate. Switch this up. See if we can pen a bit here. I think next turn I'm going to back up and not shoot. Drop some recoil and see if that makes a difference for chance to hit. I really need to find some recoil compensator for that. You know what it is? I, I put the flak... Um, flak targeting on somebody else. I should probably put it on him because it does drop one recoil. Yep. Alright, let's get down there if we can. Ooh. There we go. Going full throttle. Full throttle. 24. A little better on this guy down here. Let's take a shot on him. Uh, leave the rockets out till we get a little closer. Alright, one hit. Nice. Yes, Commander. Hmm. Let's get down here. Copy that. Just keep on this Vulcan. Is it AC2 Vulcan? Machine gun and medium lasers, it looks like. And it unidentified something or other. Copy that. I thought this guy had an AC2. Okay, the Phoenix is overheating. No, it's not. It's just warm. Ready for orders. Um, yeah, let's just fire. Oh, yeah, nice. So it did look like it looked like it did pen the armor there. But what do I know? Finally getting into the fight. Excellent. Excellent. All right, Griff. Waiting on you, Commander. See if we can get that large laser into the game here. Mm. I took the jump jets off this guy, and I think I'm regretting it a little bit. I'm finding it harder to get it into position when I need it to be in position. Let's move over here. Affirmative. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. Uh, yeah, it's fire. That's the last bit of sensors. Let's just drop. Yeah, we'll drop it down there. Laser missed again. Wish there was a way I could kind of like take that out and put two medium X pulses in. Missiles, Commander. Just to split the damage a bit, you know? Be nice to have those. I mean, it's far less range. And maybe we change the SRMs up, or the uh, LRMs up for SRMs. Or we take the MRMs off here and put them in there. And then put the, uh, put all SRMs in the, uh, Talos. Hey. Hey. Let's just turn, put his front armor to this guy. Not that, actually, if he shot you from the front, he would hit you in the front. I hope he hurt. Okay, nice. Same torso. That looked like a critical hit. Excellent. So we should have... Okay, machine gun turret fired, really? 
Oh, that was the vehicle. Medium laser turret should be able to fire. They're shooting at me. They are. Well, you've been shooting at him. It's only fair. Okay, we got two rounds left. I was hoping for a kill there. Commander. Those two are woefully out of position anyway, so there's not much they can do. Um. Little better on that guy. Garbage on him. Um. Uh, Yeah, let's give the panther a uh, little something to worry about here. That's pretty darn nice. Back armor is mediocre. Let's hope we can hit in, a f in the same area with a few of these. Firing at enemy or just miss with the big one. That works too. Because why would you want that to hit anything? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> It's always the biggest weapons that just don't hit. Sorry, I take it there. It's not that they don't hit. It just disproportionately hit. How's that? Good, you're not shooting for me. I like that. I hear you. I like it a lot. Get around here. Right, Commander. I think we're going to drop the laser this turn. Damn, the chance to hit. Let's get our heat back. Twenty-four on that guy. You know what? Yeah, let's just keep applying pressure. What now? What now? Stop complaining and just shoot this guy. Copy. A little close for the AC5, I think, but yeah. It's okay. Ah! He's got two narcs on him. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's keep on the Vulcan. Let's have him look at me rather than Griff. Switch this to SRMs. Ah, uh, we're getting close to the end. Let's fire the rockets too. I don't think we're going to have a much better chance to hit than this, so... Wow. That's a whole lot of miss. <laughs> Short range missiles are out. Yeah, yeah. We should be able to kill this panther. And right, hopefully the phoenix goes down. I think the next episode, there's a, I think there was a one and a half skull at Ambush Convoy. I think I want to try and do that next episode. Now that things are slowly stabilizing again with our guys and we're getting a bit more gear, I'm thinking I'm a little more confident to go up a bit higher. We'll take that one and a half skull. Hopefully we don't get a bad roll on it and get, end up with a whole bunch of medium mechs to fight against, but uh, that would be kind of good. All right, let's bring this guy down. Or do we bring him down? We got to get him into range. You're not going to be able to... That guy moved... Ooh, there we go. He moved to a good spot. We'll move to a better one. Oops. Sorry about that stuff, guys. It was just in my way. That's people dying, by the way, screaming. <laughs> Sorry about that. We got to kill this guy. Okay, another narc on him. I like that they upped the narc ammo. That was, that's pretty sweet. I remember when it was five shots per ton. I think at one point in time it was five shots per ton. I'm glad they, they put it back up to a reasonable level. Yes, Commander. All right, well. That's the Vulcan. Here we go. 
firing. Sure. Solid connection. That Bailout. Is. Nope. All right, we'll have to keep. You know what? That's actually a good thing, I think. That he didn't blow up. That we didn't core him. Because now if we just keep plinking him, hopefully he'll bail out. And then uh, we'll get more more mech parts. I would I would prefer having the um, the Panther over the Arbiter. Uh, of course, there's the charge attack. And I can't see what it is because it won't let me pan. Damn. I'm gonna need a medic. <sighs> what, did you, what did he do? Kick you in the head? I'm here. Probably. Probably kicked him in the head because... Uh, let's get 46, huh? As much as I want to plink that panther, it's just, it's principle at this point. I can't let this guy get away with hitting me like that. SRM's firing. Sorry. Scored a critical hit. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, Griff, come on, get me that panther. Can we get it? We can get a shot on him from here. It's not too bad. We'll take it. Just don't hit our guy with a laser. Whatever you do, please. I beg you. Okay, good. Good chance. Time to die. Oops. Little much? All out of oh, he, <laughs> he bailed out though. Okay. Probably get like two or three salvage out of that. <laughs> yeah, it's a little much, I think. This little puff of smoke here at the end. <laughs> it's just poof, gone. You dead. That guy ran. I'm here. For what it's worth, buddy, I don't blame you for running. This guy's got his good side turned towards us. Yay. Yeah, we're not gonna get that guy, I don't think. Unless we get lucky. Aye, aye. Our recoil is so bad now that's All right, well, Position confirmed. do what we can. We do what we can. Hopefully that medium... Oh, that's not bad. Hopefully the medium laser turret finishes him off. I come. Well, we did hit. I have no idea what it did, but... Oh! Oh, thank you! <laughs> yes! Uh, <laughs> that's what you get for merely attacking me, you bastard. <laughs> Mission successful. That was totally worth it, that turret wrecking that mongoose at the last second. Oh man, that was brilliant. Um, so the Hunchback did take a little bit of internal damage, but that was just from the uh, the tandem rockets. So not bad. We do have one head hit though, unfortunately. So we'll probably jump planets at this point. Because um, it's going to be 15 days before we come back. So this is a tandem times two. And a bolt-on AMS. I'm going to throw them both there for now. So we'll, we'll see what else we got. We got three panther parts. One ballistic, one missile, one laser. So that's not too, too bad. I mean, technically we could put the uh, Ultra 2 on this thing. And some lasers. So rockets, endo steel. We got two of them already though. C3 unit, 180 core. Now we, if we were gonna put a core on a 35 ton mech, I would want it to be 175 for a movement of 5, right? 35, 70, 105, 140, 175, yeah, and I think we've got a 175 core. Do we? No, we have a 145 core. That's what's on the Arbiter. I'm going to put that there for now. Ooh, heavy industrial armor. I wonder, wonder, this was probably on the Phoenix, I guess. So put that there. Rain, another range finder. We got them on three of our four max at the, currently, but I think the fourth one has a better targeting system without it. Yeah, there's not much here. And I don't really think... I mean, we could take a couple of Panther parts. The bolt-on AMS, I think, is more valuable than the tandems, but the tandems are nice. You know what, let's drop the core. 
Ah, man, we could put together a rocket galleon, too. It's a, those are like one-way tickets, though, with those rockets. It's like you drive in, you shoot, and then your match is over. We got good use out of one of those before, but I don't think we need it in this playthrough. Let's go with the panther parts. Hopefully we can find some more coming up. And I think these two are immediate upgrades to max. This is nice to have for later. We don't need it right now. Uh, but increasing the carrying capacity. Oh, this was on the, um, the locust in order to be able to carry these. Yeah. To increase the carrying pack capacity. Carrying weight by times three. Yeah, so if we find some big uh, bolt-ons, we can put this on a mech and actually use them. So we'll take that. All right, we've got some commando parts. One, two, three galleon parts. A couple locust parts. The OP locust is what? Primitive downgrade. Okay. It's weird the, the, the labeling system, like the, the O sometimes means Omni, and then other times it just means old. So it confuses me sometimes. The Tronal can just go, go away. Machine guns can go. We got a bunch of rocket packs. I'm going to hold on to them because you never know when you get some good use out of them to make a hilarious mech. Uh, let's handle, hang on to that second fire control system standard. We can probably sell the heat sinks and get nothing for them. Standard heat sink cooling, cooling, and standard core can go. So we made a little bit of sea bills there. But I think we picked up a few things. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Very little in uh, uh, costly repairs. Now, I think, yeah, the Cephalus didn't get hit. Let's go to the mech bay real quick, because I'm thinking that this is going to be the one that takes the tandem rockets, if it will allow us. I think they're three tons, so I don't think this thing can carry them. Because we've only got two and a half tons, right? The bolt-on AMS is a three-ton bolt-on, and then the tandems are three tons, right? Yeah. And we got the chameleon built in, unfortunately, so can't use them would have been nice though yeah so we are we do have the rangefinder on this guy yeah because he's got the regular clan cockpit now um i think it was the griffin i didn't put a uh range finder on it may have been nice to get one for this guy too anyway i'm going to end this episode here because i'm going to jump to another system i look for one or one and a half skull world that we can go to actually if we go to the command center but we pull off one more before we leave here. No, because our... Ah, man. This would have been a nice one to do. Uh, local government come, ambushed. Oh, the free rassle. We don't want to fight against them. We're trying to get uh, our rep up with these guys. Now we're already up here. So current rep is going up a little bit. So that's one and a half. Single heavy air, air asset we have to help out. Which means we'd, we'd have to drop a mech and then go in on the battlefield. Which is kind of stinky. Like they should put that air asset in the first slot of the second lance. But they don't do that, unfortunately. That's a Rasselhag against Rasselhag mission we don't want. Okay, yeah, so I think we jump because we've got... Um, how many days before we're back? 15? 18 days before Granite's back. So I'll look for a jump that's 18 days away. That's one, one and a half skull. We'll jump over there and we'll pull off some missions on that planet. Um, and hopefully we can get some stuff. Now, if we, I don't think we have... Nice to see you down I think that was the first time we encountered a panther. So the problem with playing so many games is I start to forget what I've got and what I don't got. Yeah, so we, we only got the three panther parts. We could put together another urban mech, but I, I don't want to punish myself. Um... And I'm going to hang on to all these mech parts because we're going to, once we get our tech up a little higher, I'm going to start assembling them and just taking components off them. It's always good if you can afford to keep all that stuff in your mech bay and you don't need the, the C bills. Just to keep them around so that you can actually assemble them and then scrap them and just keep whatever you, you get off them. But it's nice to, to wait until you have a better uh, tech level. Uh, right now our uh, mech tech is 15. If we get it up around 20, 20, 20, 25, somewhere around there, it would be a really good chance to do that. And there's some uh, events that can crank that up. Some pilots will turn that, uh, get it higher. And then, of course, the uh, um, what you down here today? ability to uh, get some of these. Now, some of these down here actually will add, I know, I think it's the library, which I think was the one we already have. Yeah, the library gave us some points. Now, there's an advanced library here, too. This is the yeah, improved library plus two tech points. 
Actually, let's purchase that now. Because we got the sea bills. Let's purchase Driving it before we jump. That'll give us plus two more tech points. Now, I think the the rest of this is just morale and medical. That's morale. Morale medical. Yeah, morale medical. But I think there's some of these actually give you tech points as well. Yeah, like the, this does improve conduits. So it's good to look around because you just you don't always have to just crank up your number of mech bays and this. I mean, it's always a good thing to do that, but there are other things that you can grab without having to get the third habitat pod, which is 2 million. Um, and then you have to crank up your drive systems and all that and improve conduits. But there's other things you can get other than these that will give you those tech points that are needed. So we can get, we got three more. We got one here, and, or two here and one, one more here. So that's three more points for less than half the cost of what it would cost us to go with the next uh, next uh, bay up. But anyway, uh, I'm leaving the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.